Hello and welcome to MaxSurf Webinar 4 videos. This is the first video on complex tanks and compartments. When you're defining tanks and compartments on Hydromax, if they're rectangular, you can simply enter the boundary box coordinates. If they're tapered, for example, to avoid a sloping bilge keel, then you can just enter different coordinates for the forward and the aft ends of the tanks. But for more complex shapes of arbitrary shape, you may need to use internal MaxSurf surfaces to define the boundary of the tank in terms of those surfaces. If necessary, you can also link those tanks together to form even more complex shapes. And I'd also like to remind you that you can import background images of an existing tank plan either in scanned or DXF form to use as a guide while you're working. Let's move over to MaxSurf and take a look at an OSV model. And if we zoom in a little closer, you can see I've hidden all the tanks except two of them. And I'd like to show you how to model these kinds of shapes. We can see we've got a cylindrical mud tank here. And then adjacent to the mud tank, we have some surfaces defining a basically rectangular shape that then follows the curve of the cylinder of the mud tank. So let's select those surfaces and remove them from the model. And uh, we'll take a look at how we can use some curves and surfaces to create those tanks. Let's switch to a plan view and zoom in in detail. And what we can see is we've got here a series of curves which define the base of the tank. I'm just going to remove some of those from the model and I'll recreate them to show you what the basic process is. So we can see we've got some, surface, uh, some curves here. I'll we'll unlock them so that we've got some points to snap onto. And the first command I'm going to use is the add arc command. So I can graphically pick the points of my arc. I can pick a center point, a start angle, and an end angle to form my 45 degree arc. I'm deliberately creating the circle out of a series of arcs, and we'll see why in a minute. So I can continue that process. I can snap onto a grid point that gives me an exact 45 degree curve there. And finally, I can choose the arc which closes the circle. If I lock all of the curves in the model, then that makes that easy to select. And we can also define the lines which define the boundaries of the uh, rectangular part of the tank. So I can choose the linear curve command and click and double click to draw the curves that define that boundary. So I'm just going to sketch them into place, like so, and finally close off that part of the model. So if I lock all of those curves, you can see that I can use these curves to define a closed boundary for each of those compartments. So let me just select the remainder and we'll switch to a 3D view. So in our 3D view here then we've got these curves defined and now I can use a couple of commands to make the surfaces for my tank. Just before I make those surfaces I'm actually going to duplicate the curves. So I use the duplicate curve command and I'm going to duplicate them vertically by 5 meters. So I know that's the height of my tank. We can see the new curves are duplicated up there. And now I can use the extrude surface command. And I'm just going to go back downwards to connect the top curves with the bottom curves and form the surfaces in between them. So now we have the basic surfaces which define the outlines of our tank. However, to form sections correctly, we do need to have a closed top to our tank. And the way that I'm going to do that is with those curves that I duplicated previously from that curve on one side of the tank to the other curve, I'm going to use the skin curves command to make a surface. So I choose skin curves. I'm going to use an exact fit settings and the curves in the order that I selected them. And that's going to make that surface on the top of the tank. I can repeat that process for the other curves. So I can select the first curve, the second curve, Again, use the skin curves command from one side to the other, and that defines the other two. And I would actually bond those surfaces together. So that gives me a closed top on that part of the tank. And for the cylindrical cylinder here, uh, I need a surface which closes the top. The easiest way to create that is actually to use the add shape command to add a cylinder which is vertical. And I can turn on the option to close the ends and that will actually generate a disc or a cylindrical flat surface, uh, which I can use to place on top. So if I use all of those functions, I'll load in the design as I've created it. We'll see how we can end up with a series of closed curves. 
Now one thing I didn't mention at the start is that the bottom of this tank is actually sloping. Now normally we might consider using a surface and trimming off the bottom of that, but it would be quite hard to have one surface that would be used for one tank and then another surface for the other tank. So I'm going to use an alternative method. I'm going to switch to the body plan view. And in the body plan what we can see is that I've drawn a curve here which is at the correct slope for the sloping bottom of the tank that we want to define. And that's just a normal linear curve. If I unlock it, you can see it's just a curve defined by the two control points at its ends. But if I double click that curve, we can see from its properties that I've turned on the option to use that curve for trimming. That means I can use that curve projected in a longitudinal direction to trim away some surfaces. And I can choose which surfaces are going to be trimmed by that curve. So in the list of surfaces here, I select the surfaces for the box part of my tank and also for the mud tank. So now if I go back to a 3D view, what we can see is if I select one of these surfaces that define the tank and actually start trimming it, we can see that at the bottom of that surface has been trimmed off. The same applies to the rectangular part of the tank. If I just temporarily untrim it, we can see that it starts out at that length and then when I use the trim command, I can trim off the piece of the tank that falls below that projected line. The end result, if I turn on my parametric curves, is that all of those surfaces that define that tank, all those yellow surfaces there, are trimmed off. Now normally we require a completely closed section, but in fact it is legal in Hydromax to have a series of curves in the tank which uh, have just one opening in them. If there's just one opening in the sections, then that opening will be closed off automatically with a straight line. That concludes our demonstration of complex tank and compartment creation. Thank you for watching.